Hello everyone and welcome to the Code HQ. Today we're gonna talk about how to create a toast message in Flutter. Use toast messages to provide visual feedback for our user. In order to create a toast message in Flutter, we're gonna be using a package called Flutter Toast. Flutter Toast package provides us with two kinds of toast messages. A toast without a context that supports Android, iOS and Web, and a toast with context that supports all the platforms. So let's get started. At the first step, I'm gonna create a body. Inside the body, let's define a column, and inside that, let's set the main axis and cross axis alignment to center. Also, inside the children property, I'm gonna define a new class that's called simple toast button. This is the button that's gonna display a toast message. And in order to center our button, I'm gonna use a size box with a weight of infinity. So let's define our simple toast button. This is our simple toast button. The first thing you do is to create a status widget. Inside widget we have an elevated button and a text. And then we're gonna import Flutter Tools package. Inside unpressed, I'm gonna use Flutter Tools that is provided in Flutter Tools package to show a tools message. The only required property that we have is a message. So right now if I press hot restart, so now you see we have a button in the UI and if I press on it, it's gonna display a very basic toast message. So we can add some more configuration to our toast message. We can add a length, that is toast.length short. We have a gravity of center. We have a time for web that's one second and we have a background color of red and a text color of white. So if we save our project right now, you see that we have a, a beautiful toast message. And now that I click on it, you see that we have a beautiful toast message. So this was all about the simple toast. It uses no context and it has a limited configuration that you see these are the parameters that we can set. We also have custom toast. In order to create a custom toast, we go to our home screen dart and we create the button for it. Right now this button is not created. So we first of all go to our main dart and in order to use a custom toast you have to do some configuration and the only configuration you do right now is to set the builder property of material app to ftoast builder and for that of course you have to import flutter tools package so you provide flutter tools builder in order to uh, put the tools inside our context and now we go inside the custom tools button this time we need a stateful widget Inside it we have an elevated button and a, uh, inside the onpress we call a method called true toast. So here we first of all need to import our flutter toast package and then we create an object of flutter toast and initialize it inside the init state and then we create our method that's called true toast and inside that we define our toast. As we said inside the custom toast we can create any UI that we want. In my case, I have created a container with a decoration and a child of row, which has an icon that takes. You can create any UI for your toast that you want. And lastly, I'm using the Flutter Toast object to show my toast. And as you see inside the child, I have the toast that I have created in above. And also as a gravity, I have set toast gravity at button and toast duration is set to two. So now, if I hot restart the app, you see that the second button appears and if I click on this, we see a beautiful toast message. You can also change the properties that you like. For example, you can set the toast message to appear on the top. So let's hot, re hot reload the app. And now if you click on the custom toast, you see our custom toast appears on the top. So this was all about creating a toast message in Flutter. See you in the next tutorial.